All right, now to give us more perspective on this, we're being joined by Mr. John Irat. He's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Mr. Irat is a senior policy director for the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation. Mr. Irat, let me in fact begin by asking you this. Now, looking at what is unfolding on the battlefield, many Ukrainian commanders have in fact said it quite openly that Ukraine may have to retreat from some of the key positions that it holds. And Italy appears to have been floating an idea that it is time to perhaps negotiate with the Russians. Do you think this idea floated by Italy is likely to find a resonance with the other Western partners, predominantly the United States of America? The uh, key people that uh, the idea would have to find residence, resonance with would be the people of Ukraine. Uh, after all, it is the war that they are fighting and not a war that the West is fighting. Uh, so the governments of the West should uh, continue to, to uh, pay attention to what the wishes are of the people in the government of Ukraine. And if they say that it is time to uh, negotiate a solution, if that is possible, and I doubt very much that it is, Mm -hmm. uh, then that would be the time to do this. Interesting. Now, and also the fact that there's this um, military aid package that the American Congress has passed. How much time do you think that military aid package that Congress has passed will have a bearing on the amount of weapons that the Ukrainian soldiers have that they can use in the defense of Ukraine? It is my understanding that uh, portions of the, the new package are already on the way to Ukraine. Uh, so it should be sooner rather than later before the uh, new equipment will be available to Ukrainian forces on the battlefield. Now, the European Union is considering to impose more sanctions, this time related to LNG. Why do you think the sanctions that have been imposed by the European Union with respect to the Russian hydrocarbons have not had the desired effect so far? Because the sanctions to date have been primarily symbolic. Uh, they were an expression of, of discontent uh, from European and, and other countries with Russia's aggression against Ukraine, but they were not designed to really produce much pain to the Russian people uh, for the very practical reason that by doing so, it would also create pain for the European people. As democratic governments, European uh, leaders, leaders must stay in office and they need popular support to do this. And so they don't want to increase energy prices or uh, cause fuel shortages, which is what actual sanctions against Russia will do. All right. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Iran, for joining us and getting us that perspective then. You're welcome. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.